Welcome to Avatar Technology Digest. As always, we bring you news on technology, medical cybernetics, and artificial intelligence. And here are the top stories of the last week. World's first biolimp, the rat limp, has been grown in the Massachusetts General Hospital's lab from living cells. It may go down history as the first step to creating real, biologically full functional limps for amputees. Many amputees receive artificial replacements that look fine cosmetically but don't function as well as real limbs. Limbs contain muscles, bones, blood vessels, tendons and nerves and which has to be rebuilt and requires a specific supporting structure called the matrix. The team of bioengineers have shown that they can maintain the matrix of all these bio tissues in their natural relationships to each other, culture the entire construct over prolonged periods of time and repopulate the vascular system and musculature. The technique behind the rat for a limp called Diesel Riesel has previously been used to build hearts, lungs and kidneys in the lab. Simpler organs such as windpipes and voice box tissue have been built and transplanted into people with varying levels of success. Functional testing of the isolated limbs showed that electrical stimulation of muscle fibers caused them to contract with a strain of 80% of what would be seen in newborn animals. The research team also successfully decelerized baboon forearms to confirm the feasibility of using this approach on a scale that would be required for human patients. Last Thursday, Google hinted at big things to come from its crack team of so-called pirates at the Advanced Technologies and Projects division. Project Soli uses radar to track your hand gestures in the air with extreme precision. It can detect movement of less than a millimeter and to do it through obstructions like one finger in front of another. That opens a library of possible gestures that extend far beyond the swipes and pinches you may already know from the likes of the Leap Motion Controller, which uses IR cameras that cannot see through your hands. Since Soli can detect both the location of your hands and the gestures they make, different locations can also correspond to different effects. For instance, it enables to set the time on the watch by placing a hand close to the sensor to adjust the hours with a virtual dial and further away to set the minutes. The possibilities are not difficult to imagine on wearables which exist on the fringe of screen sizes humans find usable. Google's hands-on demonstrations made it difficult to ascertain how precise Soli can really get, probably because the machine learning necessary to translate raw data from its new toy into usable gestures isn't really done yet. Demos merely turn waves and swipes of your hands into different abstract shapes on screen or show the raw data output from the radar on different graphs. Perhaps not surprisingly, the first board designers are circular and would fit nicely in, say, a watch. Google plans to release it to developers later this year. How about a cheap 3D printed robotic arm controlled by your mind? For Easton LaChapelle, a 90-year-old from Colorado in the United States, the difficulty with robotics has never been the technology itself, something he says he manages to master in a matter of months from his bedroom in his parents' house. In the last five years, learning almost exclusively online in forums and emails, LaChapelle has managed to synthesize a series of robotic hands that could change industries and lives, and most of which cost just a few hundred dollars. La Chapelle has done so using 3D printing and he's made one of that he says can read your mind, it's called Andro Mode. This reads right about 10 channels of the brain, so it works kind of like a muscle sensor in that it picks up small electric dischargers and turns that into something you can actually read within software and then pattern can be tracked and converted into movement. So with this invention, La Chapelle is actually able to charge grips, grip patterns based on facial gestures and then use the raw actual brain waves and focus to actually close the hand or open the clamp or hand. While it's the hand itself that moves as more advanced controls are created, it's the software that's doing the heavy lifting using algorithms that make the arm easier to use. Medical micro-robots take a fantastic voyage into reality. Engineers explore ways to take robotics to the limits of size and function. In the next video, we'll show you how miniaturized starfish-like micro-robots perform biopsies inside human colon. The notion of performing medical procedures at microscopic scales is now slowly sneaking out of the realm of science fiction. Thanks to developments in microfabrication and other areas, researchers are pushing the limits on the size and capabilities of objects small enough to move through the human body. 
tiny, untethered instruments like these micro-robots may one day execute standard medical procedures. Researchers at John Hopkins University have developed these micro-grippers, star-shaped devices that can be smaller than a millimeter from tip to tip. The grippers are temperature sensitive with arms that react when exposed to body heat. If placed well, the arms will close around tissue performing a miniature biopsy. When placed in large enough numbers, grippers like this might provide a less invasive way to screen for colon cancer. Here, a swarm of these starfish-like rabbits collect samples inside a pig's gastrointestinal tract. Based on tests, researchers estimate that about one-third of the grippers capture tissue. This approach minimizes the cost and maximizes the ease of manufacturing could be powerful. And for the dessert, we have prepared the video where robots learn how to push heavy objects with their bodies just like you. Please have a look. At International Conference on Robotics Automation last week, researchers from University of Tokyo presented a paper on whole body pushing manipulation with contact posture planning, or in other words, shoving things. For humans, shoving things can be somewhat complicated because there are a lot of ways that a heavy object can be shoved. So the robot, the HRP2 model, precomputes several different pushing postures that exert increasing amounts of force, and if it doesn't sense the thing moving, it will autonomously try new strategies until it's successful. You'll notice that the robot is pretty good at not falling over. This is autonomous also. It modifies its footsteps to be larger or smaller based on how far the object moves, which is detected through how much its body is tilting. Next, the researchers plan to apply the proposed method to other tasks with whole body contact. And your guess is as good as ours as to what those tasks are going to be. And that is all for Avatar Technology Digest. You are welcome to subscribe, follow us on social media and join the global conversation. Take care and see you next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. See you.